Well, about that plane I was gonna tell you about, I think I may have to cancel the project. I'm gonna take a look at my subscribers. Because why not? If, look, if it's if it's 25, I'm building the plane. I just please say it's at least higher. I just you guys done a good favor. This is enough motivation for me to do almost anything. Guys, take a look for yourself. Well, congratulations. You gave me enough motivation to build that plane that you wanted to see. But this is not a live stream because I can't live stream right now. But this is a video that's going to help a lot of you and it's going to help me. So, Yes, I know you guys want to see a plane. Well, you're going to get one. So, I hate to say this, but unfortunately, the pandemic is, well, it's not going to let me make the plane because, look, if stores are closing down, there's no way I'm going to be able to buy the parts needed to build a plane. There's no way I'm going to be able to. But the thing that was this, cost. I don't know how much the plane's gonna cost, but it's gonna cost a little over a thousand dollars, much less than 12,000. So, let's take a look at things, okay? I need to design a plane that can go fast and move silent. This is when you guys come in handy. Now, why am I walking around my room? I have no idea. But let's take a look at other aircraft. And this is what's going to inspire me, okay? Has anyone ever heard of the SR-71 Blackbird? I did. I stood right next to the thing. I touched its landing gear. Ask me anything about it. I, can, I already probably know. Anyway, there's also another plane called the B-2 Spirit. The B-2 Spirit... Well, is it's, it's still a bomber flying today, but they're thinking of replacing it with the B-22, which is not built yet, but Northrop is still trying to build it. So, let's do this. Alright, so I know you guys want me to build a plane, but I don't have all the knowledge I need right now. So look, I want to show you a couple of things that are going to help. In case anything does go wrong, I found this type of gas mask. The M50 gas mask, the military one. This is what it looks like. I'm sorry about that, but I'm going to get this one. I don't know how much it's going to cost, though. But if it's good, because this also has a flashbang protector, which is going to help me when I'm, I don't know, over 40,000 feet in the air, Oh, in case you don't know, this is not going to be a regular Cessna looking plane, no. This is going to be, I'm going to try to build jet engines, and I'm going to try to shove them on this thing, because why not? So let's read this. The M50 is the newest generation CBRN, chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear, full face mask, specifically designed to meet the latest... NATO military gas military mask requirements protects against chemical biological radiology ra you get you get it radiological and nuclear CBRN threats including toxic industrial materials so I can probably find it here but this means that when I'm trying to get in the air, I'm gonna have to try to see if I can hook something up to this that'll bring oxygen from a tank. Because one, I'm not, do you know how much a fighter pilot helmet costs? It costs about, uh, about $45,000 per helmet. But I'm not gonna just 
let that do that. So, yeah, I can do that. Alrighty. So, here's something though with building this plane. If anyone ever looked at the inside of a bomber, it's small. It's really small. It's way too small. So there's no way, like, has anyone ever been inside a B-52? If you look at the bomb bay, it's a lot larger than me. And if you look at the cockpit, it's pretty cramped up. This is just a model of what the B-52 looks like doesn't look like much but this thing when this thing takes off from a base all the now look take a look at this room now imagine the room shaking and the windows rattling that's what all of these eight engines do to anything now yes yeah, seeing one of these fly over your house is kind of a scary sight but if you're like me you know it's not gonna hurt you so I know you guys want me to build a plane, so that's why I'm researching. That's what I've been doing. I've been laying not everything off, but I've been not cutting my lawn. I've just been here trying to do what you guys want to see, which is that plane. Well, like I said, you guys motivated me enough that I'm going to do this. But let me, tell you, let me tell you a couple of things that I want you guys to know. Because I'm doing this, I may die. But hey, that's going to be fine. That's why you always take safety first. Like, attach a respirator to you if you want to go 40,000 feet. And another thing is, this plane could explode at any moment. That's a risk any test pilot has to take. And last of all, if I do end up dying, I don't think I will, but I'm always going to take caution. I should be okay. Now let's take a look at several other planes. Now, in case none of you know what the B-2 looks like, not the B-52, but the B-2 Spirit. This plane costs $2.2 billion, and I, yeah, there's not even a lot of them built. So now let me show you something. The gas mask that I was thinking of is this. Because it has flashbang protectors, and these, these are filters. But this right here is probably what I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna have to try to make a attachment to that. Because one, the military grade stuff here is gonna help me fly. Now, just a sec. The B-2 Spirit is is this. The B-2 Spirit has special engines that are designed to not sound like anything. They just sound like heavy wind. But look, this is what the plane looks like. Now that's amazing. Now let's take a look at more images. So because of this, the plane is a, a, it, I like this one because one, the engines are not displayed on the bottom. Like, I need a, damn it. I need a, there we go. Here. If you look, the engines are not anywhere on the bottom of the wing. And these two engines are located above the wing and they have no afterburners. It's super cruise, what they have. Now, because of it, this is the inside of it. But this is the inside of a B2. It's a little cramped up in there. But something though is the, B5, the B2 has a, it's invisible to radar, in this case, it's, this is the diagram of it, somewhere. Now, I think I may join the Air Force, but okay, here we go. 
So this is the diagram of it. That's the cockpit, of course. But climbing inside of this thing is kind of, well, weird. I don't know a lot about this one, but I do know some things about it. They call it the Stealth Bomber, but there's many Stealth Bombers. But this is the top speed. They had the top speed classified for a while. Now look, this was the cost of the entire program. $44.75 billion through 2004. And no, there's 21 of these built. Now, that's one thing that I did want to tell you about. Another plane that I also know is called the YF-23. This one was a competitor for the F-22. YF-23. Now the YF-23, I want you to take a good look at this. And look. If you look at that from the bottom of it, you're going to think you're being invaded by aliens or something. Now, look at this. Are you kidding me? Out of all things to give these things to? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, no. Of course, I can't buy anything. Because whenever you look up anything to buy, they're not going to give it to you. So that's why I have to build everything. Like this. Okay, yes, I, I actually did build that. So let's take a look at more images. So I can tell you what this thing looks like. This is a better diagram of it because it's on top. And the glare of my camera is getting in the way. But... This is the first appearance from it. But this thing is made from the same company that made the B-2. Now, there's this is my favorite aircraft that I'm also about to show you, the SR-71. The SR-71 is, well, was, a, it, it's, it's still, even though it's not flying, it's still the, world, the fastest plane in the world. And if you don't know what SR stands for, it stands for Strategic reconnaissance because the SR-71 was well I still like it now take a look these things used to fly only 32 of them were built three were still flying but then they decided to retire those so now not a single one are flying but take a look at this the Pratt & Whitney J58 engine. Those are the engines that they used. Of course, if you wanted to buy one of these things, you're not going to be able to buy... Like, if you want to buy the engine, not the plane, because the production lines are offline now, but the engine does not come with the spikes. Now, of course, this means I'm going to have to source all the titanium, but... Okay, this is not a sponsor for... Uh, what's that thing called? William Painter sunglasses. But all of the, their sunglasses are built with titanium. There's no way I'm going to buy over $1 million worth of sunglasses just for the titanium. Of course, I don't know how I'm going to get that. But take a look. So something though about this is this. This plane, this is just a better thing so you can get how they got in. But because, now I know what you're thinking. Why is this plane, why does the plane have a, I, let me just figure out how to speak again. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, here we go. So this plane has barely any wing. That's what you, most of you guys would think. But no, it actually has this for a wing. So, when images don't give you what you want, 
by a model. Now take a look at this, okay? As you can see, the, the front of the plane has just this, which is kind of part of a wing. So yeah, so something go is this. If you just think for quite a while of what I could do, take a look. If you want to look any of these aircraft up by yourself, just take a look. Think of this. Think about taking designs of these type of aircraft and maybe taking some designs of this and last of all, this. And now, think very hard to think, just think what would be interesting. Should I either try to build an exact one of these things or should I try to combine a lot of designs together and come up with something. Now you guys can probably send me links to your art, concepts maybe, and uh, I guess, yeah that's one thing, just a sec guys. So if you take a look at my yard, I have no runway at all, but take a look at this plane. This plane is called the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II. So this plane can take off vertically. Because it can take off vertically, I'm going to show you basically how it can do its thing. So if you look at images, let's hope that some of these are actually useful. Yep, there we go. So look, that's a whole, okay. This is the afterburner. There's, oh. and this is one part of the engine because, as you can see, these two are engine inlets. Basically, they diverge, but then they converge back, and it goes to the main engine. And because the afterburner is just pointed down like this, and there's a this is just a massive air brake, but behind here is where they have... Not, it's not a jet engine, it's, just, it's like it's a turbine which spins and this thing can take off vertically. Now trying to do that, trying to, read it, trying to modify a J58 engine, if that's what I'm even going to use, to try to redesign this... Like, remember, B2 Spirit YF-23, SR-71, and the F-35 Lightning too. Now, I am i can't just come up with every design, so that's where I need a lot of your help to get this thing built. And if I manage to make something amazing, I can't say that there's going to be any other seats, okay? Because one major problem with aircraft is weight. That's the, that's something that I am not very good at controlling. No one is, except for if you master it. Because one thing though is if the plane is heavy, too heavy on one side, it's not going to fly. But we'll see what happens. That's really all I can say. And look, I have a cork board, completely empty. I could probably put the designs on here. And don't forget, I get inspired by many stuff. And some of you who may not care for aircraft, if you take a look at this and if you see it fly over, just know that I'm probably going to be the one that built it. But I'm not going to just let anything go. Of course, here is something that I don't think is going to be okay. So one, it, it's owning an aircraft with afterburners legal. Yes, it is. Ever heard of the, I don't know the, the, the number or what it is, but it's a convert, it's a fly for fun type plane. It's called the Firefly. That has an afterburner, and 
it's legal. So that's nice. Let's take a look at this. No. Someone built that for me. So that was nice. In case you don't know, I go overhaul on anything. Here's what my, my friend wanted to do. He wanted to put a motor, because this was supposed to be an F-22, he wanted to put a motor and a propeller. I said no. So, what I was going to do is try to not just make this, make the rudders usable, add flaps, in this case six servos, and adding actual small turbine engines here and here, and trying to make that fly. Of course I noticed that I have better things to spend my money on, so we're going to do that then. I'm still stuck on what to do. If you have any designs that may work, tell me. Because I'm willing to look at the designs. Because we're all in this together, but keep this in mind. This period, this one period of time is going to be just thinking and designing. I can't build any of the actual models because of, well, let's take a look. Well, everyone is stuck at home now. Pizza Hut has been, this is not a sponsor for Pizza Hut either, but Pizza Hut has been sending me notifications saying, hey, get some pizza and wings. And I'm like, I wish I could, but I'm a little too tired to drive. Seriously. Because I've been sitting here for I don't know how long, even if I drink coffee, I don't want to fall asleep behind the wheel. So that's why I'm just trying to... Well, yeah, but I kind of wish I could go to pizza. Oh, I never... I almost forgot. Something though is so I don't end up fainting in the cockpit. Yes, you can wear, I don't know, heavy jackets and all, but sometimes it still gets cold because the higher you go, the colder it's going to get. Oh, something though is this. Take a look at this air conditioning. And I'm going to put the mic close up to the fan. Now, something though is this. Most cars have air conditioning, but I don't think any plane that can do crazy things has air conditioning. Well, that's my job. Of course, that's just an asset, but it's going to work because I need to get oxygen in the cabin somehow. So, yeah. Like I said, if any of you guys have any inspiration, let me know. If you have anything you want to say, let me know. If you want me to get a GoPro, let me know. If you want to do anything, just contact me, either in the comments or maybe I'll try to make a fan email, but... Yeah. I'll try to do things, but like I said, it's gonna take a lot of time. Just a sec, guys. I'm, okay, I'm gonna have to end the video here. So, if you guys want anything else, if you have any questions, I'll try to do a live stream, but other than that, I'll see you soon or later or whenever I make another video but I just need inspiration and with enough intelligence and stuff I may be able to get one of these things maybe a special design in the air I'll see you either above your house or I'll see you in the next video wherever I can build a plane I'm probably gonna show it I should probably not have said that. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Until... I don't know. I'm tired, so I'm gonna try not to sleep. But, I'll see... Like I said, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.